another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the vampire diaries this is episode 16 of season 3 hopefully guys are enjoying the series so far the first two seasons happen at Woody as well the first 15 episodes of this one and instead of doing a recap of the last episode i'm actually gonna ask something very interesting and it's going to be what is your favorite episode and moment per season so far to this present season so for me uh, my favourite episode in season one was Founders Day. The last episode, I really enjoyed everything that was going on. It was chaotic, it was twists, it was turns. Good characters died. To me personally, I really didn't want Anna to die, but she was killed off John while Damon was trying to just look at her. He couldn't do anything, he couldn't help her. She died, I was devastated. We had Damon then at the end. He thought he was kissing Elena, but he was kissing Catherine. I was fuming, if you go back to that episode, even though Damon is my favourite character, I was fuming with him. I did not like what he was doing there to Stephanie in that situation, especially after he just saved his life. I thought it was mad disrespectful. <laughs> I was fuming. And then obviously they went inside and Catherine chopped off John's fingers. It was madness, mate. Twists and turns all over. And my favourite moment, I think, in season one was when Elena was coming down the stairs and Stefan wasn't there in Miss Mystic Falls and it was Damon at the bottom looking at her smiling as she's walking down and he went outside and done a dance and I absolutely love that scene. So that is my favourite scene in episode season one. Season two, I think my favourite episode is The Masquerade. Very interesting uh lots catherine on the inside very smart Ka uh, caroline tricked her as well she was well proud of herself i was proud of her as well because i thought she caved bonnet showing her powers catherine showing how smart she is having another witch there um every time she was hurt elena was getting hurt very clever you had obviously damon and stefan going after her fighting her interesting loved it and Everyone looked sick in a mask and suit, didn't they? Literally, Catherine killed somebody as well in the middle of the party. No, like, literally no fucks given. It was so good. I enjoyed it. And my favourite moment of season two, I would say, was when Damon, yeah, um, took Rose to a happy place before he killed her. That was emotional stuff. That is literally, right, one of the closest times I would get to crying. Like, I thought it was well emotional, me. Loved it. And... An honourable mention, you got to say, Elijah's entrance, unreal, what a guy, he made that season so much better. And then, boom, on to season three, my favourite moment, um, I would say, literally, right, so far, it's, the, um, it's not moments, it's something that I didn't think I needed in my life, and I'm absolutely loving it, and it's a ship that I want to be the captain of is Caroline and <laughs> Klaus, mate. I loved it, the way Klaus is getting smitten by her. I didn't know I wanted it. Absolutely need it now. Amazing. Season three, favourite episode so far, I would probably say it is Homecoming, where um, literally Michael and Damon and all that get a plan to kill, uh, to kill Klaus. Michael's there, slagging him off, calling him a boy, making him cry pretty much. Klaus is acting really well. I thought he killed Elena. Turns out it's Catherine. She stands up. Boom. Throws grenades. Damon runs in. Fights Klaus. Stabs him. Not in the heart though. So he doesn't die. He's about to you know, finish it off. Stefan comes. Ruins the whole day. They have a fight. They bounce. Turns out Stefan saved the day, mate. What a twist. We got a flashback of Klaus talking to Catherine. They saved the day. Saved Damon. Again, Stefan as well. Honourable mention. Acting's been amazing so far. So that's that's me currently. Obviously, we're not finished season three yet. You know, there could be uh, more stuff going on. But yeah, I'm interested to see uh, everyone's opinion. So yeah, please let me know. Thanks for clicking on my video. I really, really do appreciate it. If you do like it, please smash a like on the button. Subscribe if you're new. And let's jump into today's episode. Like we're starting in the past. One councilman's murder doesn't make an epidemic, Gerald. Something. The mystery is not going to get solved any faster with you yelling at me, Carol. It is your duty to keep me in the loop. Tell me who it is, Liz. Yeah, man, he's attacked so many times. Mad Did woman. Do it. You're arresting him oh. for what this nut job Dr. Fell said? Fell is the one who shot me. Because you came at her with a knife. Yeah, with the knife I had found hidden in her thing. I stabbed myself. Look, I think I don't know what to think. I'm being framed here. Well, that may be so, but I don't have any proof of that. Stay out of this, Damon. <laughs> don't make me put you in that cell with me. <laughs> Go on, Liz. Do you know what I would do, yeah? Take his ring off like this. Boom. Get that ring off. Put it over there. Compel him. Ask him, did he do it? 
literally get the truth right out of it there. I talked to Bonnie. Abby's gonna complete the transition. She decided to become a vampire. Caroline's gonna help her through it. Is there anything I can do? You can turn her mom into a vampire to save my life. Who is it? Your forms, everything okay? Hey, what? This might not come in there, no. Your friend's in jail for murder. You have to do something. Well, I guess I could rip out Dr. False Accusation's throat. Is that a haircut, Damon? Stop it, Damon. You know, you could show a little compassion about Bonnie. Should I send lasagna? Hey. You know, if you keep pushing people away, you're gonna end up alone. Dear diary, what do you want? Most of the originals are gone, but now we have a whodunit in town. Founders councilman were killed that year, or even that month. 1912. Last time Mystic Falls had a serial killer on its hands. I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Salvador. Miss... Lockwood. Lockwood. And this is my friend, Samantha Gilbert. I was in Jonathan Gilbert. My late grandfather. But no one seems to be willing to discuss the details of Zachariah's death. A founding family like us. Stefan looks so good with long hair. He needs to get it back in present day. The Crow, Damon in season one. Damon, it's been a long time, brother. So you're still mad at me? Why would I be mad at you, Stefan? Walk the world alone, drinking other people's blood. <laughs> yeah, Father, rest in peace. Eternal existence as far away from you as possible. Let's grab a drink. I've missed you, brother. Why not? Do you know what I actually find interesting about that conversation there? I know it's obvious, but like. It reminds me that it was Damon that wanted to stay away from Stefan for so long. And in kind of present day, it's always Stefan saying how far he wants to get away from Damon. You know, <laughs> it's like the roles have flipped. It, it, every time I see a flashback, it reminds me that it used to be the other way around. You're bored. Your best friend's in jail. I was hoping you could help me solve a murder. These would be sick police officers with the powers, just like Thank Lucifer. You. I've been to the Founders Archive, but I can't seem to find any record of the tree I'm looking for. Oh yeah, they've got a little thing going, aren't they? Back then, all the logging mills were owned by the Salvators. Forbes and Lark saw some heavy coming. Putting blood cold turkey after a rip revenge kind of the best approach. Now's a good time to pay our old friend moderation a visit. <laughs> they were all in the Founders Council, Damon. You get a slot of council members, go A list. At least in 1912, they killed a Salvatore. Both the medical examiner and my ex-husband got into altercations with Meredith Fell before their death. Well, what are you saying? I was defending her honor? 2 a.m. call on the night he was killed? You spoke with her for oh, over Oh, he's an drunk hour. dial. Can't remember the call, can I? I remember calling her, but I, I don't remember the conversation. I was there the night of the bridge fund. Time of death was between 1 and 3 a.m. I, I must have been home sleeping. There's no fucking way. There's no way that he's compelled to do some mad shit. Like, it's literally just playing on his mind. It's got to be. They've just got to be throwing a spanner in the works because now he's second guessing himself, which makes us think, hmm. Family in the logging mills back then. You're full of a lot of questions. I'm just researching the town history. If you want more sex, <laughs> just ask for it. Too good for you to be this hostile. I'm not jumping. So they ever catch the killer? Wrote it all off on vampires. Don't think for a second you didn't cross my mind too, brother. Well. There was one other vampire. I remember Sage. <laughs> oh, that transition was well good. A man when he's down. <laughs> they teach you how to survive without human blood, you know. You do not get to lecture me on how to live my life. Your name? Not interested. Well, Mr. Not Interested, you seem to me like a gambling man. Well, that's too bad. You really think it was Sage who was killing all those founders back then? I'm doing surgery. Whatever case you're gonna make against Alaric, make it quick. He was arrested for fighting four times before the age of 21. Isabel filed a restraining order against him. You took pity on a borderline alcoholic vampire hunter. It shouldn't come as a shock to learn that your guardian is a murderer. Shit, man. She's got me second guessing. Like, she give a good believable case then. I would be questioning, why have you deep dive digging in someone's past that much or someone that you've just met? That's what I would be saying. Nobody does that. Second of all, you can't judge people from the past. You judge them from the present day. So just because somebody had fights, what? Just if you was a kid, right, and you were 16 and you was an arsehole, you went around destroying people's how like things, vandalizing cars and all that. Are you that person now when you're 30, when you're 40, when, you, when you've grew up, when you've got a, a job, you teach kids, you know, when you've got your life back together, you 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 judged on the present, you can't be judged on the mistakes of your past, you judge the person that's living in in the, in front of you, and Alaric's a great guy, but she has got me second guessing, I still don't think it's Alaric, but she's putting a good case to say it's not her, but then why she got the knife, so I am still going to say it's her. Tell me more about your old relative. Easy there, lushy pants. It's been a hoot and a half, but I'll add breaking men or into list of life favors you owe me. Don't you think the police already combed through this place? I know him, Matt. He's innocent. Is it me, right? Or do all these founding families have dodgy secret doors? Like, literally. 
all of them have a secret door. He's, Tyler had one under the floor. She had one in that house that she went to that she stabbed Elijah in. She's got one here. They've all all sketchy people. I just take the box and get off. They'd never know it was you. So let's just say Sage was killing everyone in 1912. There's no way she could stab three grown men. That's a bit sexist. It is sexist. I was about to say that. Easily kill a man. Why are you so grumpy? He's on a master cleanse. Rile him up. You used to be self-righteous. Though I have pulled my own life together. He continues. Look at her laughing. Waste his. Ouch. You know, if I'm being honest, you didn't seem like much fun either, Damon. I wasn't. You're doing it all wrong. I was hungry. Now I am not hungry. A woman isn't just for food. I do not need a woman for pleasure. I'm spoken for. But what is being a vampire if not relishing in the pleasure of it? You want the ones who button themselves up, who secretly crave seduction. What if they don't? You're a vampire. Take it. It's a game of cat and mouse, isn't it? They all like to go and chase the prey. Oh, it's a Gilbert, isn't it? That sounds like Sage, all right. You're doing it again. All right. <clears throat> Damon, I'm ahead. Wait a minute. You're out. I'm ready to eat the entire white stuff. Why do you need to hear me say it? Because I'm feeling a little self-righteous, too. Old court document? I said that. Thanks, Why nice. would somebody have that info? Why is one of your old family journals in her closet? Lingered for too long. Like a fart. I'd stay in there. As soon as she opens the door, she'd get dropped. Oh, she's just in and out. Oh, no, she's not. You broke the law, but we found something that clears Alaric. It gives him an alibi. And Why would she have a copy hidden in her closet? I can't ask those questions. Matt broke into her home to find it. Alaric will be released as soon as the letter is authenticated. It's literally got me guessing, honestly, it really has. You can't possibly think you can survive without feeding. No, on the contrary. And please don't scream. You're about to have a very, very bad night. It's dinner time. Have a bite. It's time to get that monkey off your back. You know she'll kill her. No, I will. Oh, they can't. You were the one that said you didn't want any more innocent life slaughtered. Mm, ah, he didn't. <laughs> Scram, no one likes a lurker. You're a real awesome. <laughs> told. You want to fight hunger? You want to fight me? What are you doing? Oh, bad fucking timing. We'll experiment. No need to make this more dramatic than it needs to be. Disappointed with Damon and that's in this whole segment here, I was disappointed. I like that drip from his mouth though. Stepping. Wait. You literally just made the whole situation worse. I just don't get it. Your thing with them. Elena, he's a vampire. I know, believe me, just saying it out loud it sounds crazy. It's like I knew that he would never stop loving me. That's stay true. Know? And Damon? Damon just sort of snuck up on me. <laughs> Gotta catch you. Fall in love with someone, I don't, I don't know if you can ever shake him. Oh, Matt's talking about himself now. I hope he don't make a move. I'll fucking smash your head against the wall, honestly. I got you something. The journal? Meredith and that idiot deputy were too busy questioning you. Sometimes it pays practically invisible. Do you kind of feel tight on Matt, to be honest? He is invisible. I think I mentioned it. Are we getting How Met Your Mother thing going on? Where you get them at the start. Then the whole time, you got a different relationship over eight seasons. And then, boom, you finish with them two at the end. And Alaric likes it that he's got someone actually cares for him. You did really well tonight. And before you know it, you're gonna be the king of moderation. No more no humanity stepping. Why do you even care, huh? Why you feel guilty because you kissed her? Is that it, Damon? I don't need your help. 1912, Stefan. The last time I convinced you to drink human blood, I've forgotten how good it feels. But Sage, she reminded me it's worth it. Her. Have a drink with me, brother. Oh well, that's why he puts the bodies back. Shoot Jonah, mate. Shh, Stephanie. I can help you. I don't need your help. But a decade's <laughs> in, we're calling you the Ripper of Monterey. I watched you go over the edge. I didn't do anything, but I want to now. Whenever you go too far, I will be there to pull you back every day. And you don't need me it's right now. You're all I got. I can love these two, mate. Honestly, love them. Dad's yeah, gonna make some coffee. Gonna head to bed in a few. The sheriff told me about everything you did today. While I appreciate it. I don't want you getting in trouble. Not for you. For who? How about we just agree to take care of each other then? This is the Elena I like. This side, the really? caring one. I mean, at first I thought it was Jonathan Gilbert's journal, but it ended up being his granddaughter's. Good night, Rick. Good night. I dug into the old family archives from the early 1900s. What'd you find? They never did arrest anyone for the founder's murders. They did get a confession 10 years later. Jonathan Gilbert's granddaughter, Samantha. They assumed she was crazy. Samantha Gilbert. Very weird. Because I'm pretty sure I'd already killed her. I killed her. 
Samantha Gilmer, it's Felissa the Doctor. Is she coming back then and killing everyone? And the f- Do you reckon she hates vampires because Damon killed her, so to speak, and now she's trying to get revenge? And why has it took her so long if she's doing it? And why is she going after Rick out of all people who's trying to have a relationship with her? It's got me guessing. You shoot me, you have me thrown in jail, and then you have me freed? They won't look your way again. You have no reason, but I need you to trust me. She wants that journal back. So you think Samantha Gilbert is still alive? She became a vampire, we'd know about it, right? I mean, she was a... A Gilbert? Gilbert, right? Yeah, but even if she had a ring, she wouldn't be alive today. It was a protector from old age. And John and Gilbert only made two of those rings. Jeremy has one of them, and the other is... Alaris. What's with the stake? He's not a vampire. No. This was a murder. I was attacked. With your own knife. I would know if I were killing people. Had any blackouts? Instances of lost time? How many times can you die before it changes you? She's fucking got me guessing it. You're sick. Wait. Oh, oh it's a girl there. <sighs> so it is the doctor then. But then, as Damon said. She's got a ring on it. It doesn't give you powers to stay alive forever. It just keep gives you powers to not die off a supernatural being, so to speak. So, is she trying to get back what's her family bloodline? I don't know. It's interesting, though, isn't it? She has got me second guessing this whole time, and now she's got Elena on the side. So, I'm, I'm going to roll with it's not Rick, just because, right? And I know it sounds like the information is looking like it's possible, but I feel like they give you the information and they drag you back out. Do you know what I mean? So they're making us think, shit, is it? And then it's going to be boom, it's going to be someone else. I still, I'm going to go with the Doctor. I have to. Today's episode, you know, literally this whole episode has had me guessing who's killing the people. And they've literally dragged it out. So not dragged it out, but like it's three episodes now or something, isn't it? Three or four. Didn't even see any of the originals properly this episode. We, I mean, obviously we've seen... Um, See, Rebecca, she's trying to gain that information from the Salvatores, like, uh, because apparently they've got something to do with the trees back in the day. One of the Salvatores um, had that information, and she's digging. I like the uh, the little banter between Damon and Rebecca in the bar when he said, like, if you just want sex, then just ask for it, you know? I wasn't that bad last time. <laughs> um, and I really, really, really enjoyed the speech between Damon and Stefan at the end when he said that if you're going to the to the edge i'm gonna pull you back mate because that is what we do you all i have left lovely literally love it um not even seeing caroline or bonnie or anyone you know they said that they made a reference that bonnie's mum they're gonna transition her over into a vampire and they're gonna help her but we didn't even see them i wonder if she's gonna play any part further in the story of um obviously um, she, she's a vampire now she's immortal kind of she can literally play a big factor in bonnie's life um Maybe she could have uh, a mother figure uh, back and uh, it might change the way Bonnet perceives the vampires because obviously I know that she's got friends in Caroline and she has now started to become friends with Damon and Stefan. I actually really enjoy a relationship with Damon. I can see it progressing. I enjoy the fact when you see somebody who hates somebody and then they slowly start liking somebody and they've turned it around. I enjoy that. And uh, maybe having a mum as well that she she can, well, they can help as well. You know, imagine a witch and uh, a vampire together teaming up to help um, to help all the day. Because it, it, it seems like every time the vampires need something, Bonnie's there. Everything can't done, be done without Bonnie. Literally, it was just more of information, this one, wasn't it? Um, trying to dig deep into who was committing murders in the past and who's committing murders in the present. Lane has found that book. It looks like possibly Melissa, or I keep calling her Melissa and Pretty Little Eyes, the doctor, I can't remember what her name is, Meredith, is it? I don't know. Um, it looks like she might be the killer, but then she's twisting it and saying it's a Laric and he might be having blackouts, which I think's mental. I said it was going to be one of them two when it first happened, and um, I say it didn't fit Laric's character, but it could be. It could be a little twist. Let's find out. Thanks for clicking my video today. I really, really appreciate it. If you did enjoy, please smash the like on the button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for looking at my video, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.